are now the archers, and Hazel Woolley is making herself at home in Ambridge. Yes, Tony, isn't it awful about poor Tom and that Welsh girl? You mean Natasha, my daughter-in-law? Yes, on the streets at Christmas, and her pregnant too. It's unprecedented. Well, Hazel, I think it's supposed to have happened about 2,000 years so ago. So awful. I wish there was something I could do. But you evicted did them, Hazel, because you wanted a second home. Oh, a second home? Have I only got two? Oh dear. Oh my, Hazel, long time no see. Yes, I was just passing and I thought I might drop in and see how this lovely hotel is shaping up under new management. Oh, we're doing marvellously, thank you. These are great times for the hospitality sector. That's just what I wanted to hear, Oliver. Well done. And I thought you most magnanimous in offering to hold the Grundy party. I remember evicting them once from Keeper's Cottage in the flood. Have they dried out? Well, they are pillars of the community. And that's what matters more than anything. But I do so love Grey Gables. It's always been my truest home. Well, we can find you a room, I'm sure. Oh, that won't be necessary. I'm taking Grey Gables back. I want to spend a little time here. Oh, I'm sorry, Hazel, but it's not for sale. Oh, don't be like that, Oliver. It's just that I do so love Ambridge and all my friends here. Well, as I said, we can find you a room for old times' sake. Oh, I'm sorry, Oliver. I thought you'd realise that clause when you and Caroline bought it from Daddy. In the deed of sale, if Grey Gables ever offered to host a party to celebrate the renewal of vows by any Grundy or Horobin, then the hotel shall revert to the Woolly family. What nonsense! You can't just barge back in here, Hazel, making these ridiculous claims. So off you go, Oliver. My lawyers will be in touch. It's been so lovely chatting as old friends. And you were just passing, eh? Hello, Hazel. I'd heard you were back. You sound a little frosty, dear, Elizabeth. I'm just here to see how you are. Really? You can see that I'm fine. Lower Loxley is such a beautiful country house, and I'm so proud to be connected with it. What? Oh, yes. Nigel and I talked often about the future of the hall and the estate. Yes, so did Nigel and I. Now, please... I have a ghost walk, poetry, treasure hunt, murder, mystery evening to organise. Oh, I wouldn't worry about that now. I shall be doing things very differently. I'm sorry? Oh, yes. I shall be taking over the running for next week, and I shall be moving in my things on Sunday. Out, Hazel. Out. Go on. Shoot. Oh, I Shoot. do hate to do this, Elizabeth, because we're such friends. But Nigel made me his sole beneficiary in that very last will he made, when he was delirious in hospital after falling off the roof. I'm sorry, but Ambridge means so much to me. What is this? I've never seen no, it. No, it's been with my lawyers, but I'm so glad we've been able to resolve this amicably. It's been so lovely seeing you, dear Elizabeth. So you just called in to see how I was? Welcome to the farm shop. Oh, it's you, Hazel. So you're the cheesemaker now, Helen. I've always enjoyed making cheese. You will have to give me your recipes and ingredients. Oh, I do love Ambridge cheese. Oh, uh, what? Hello, Hazel. Doing your shopping? You could say that. Oh, Linda Snell was asking about you earlier. She wants you to be in her new play. Ah, where is it being performed? In the village hall, I expect. Oh, yes, I'd forgotten about that place. I do so like the village hall. I'll be back later. Hello, Kenton. How lovely to be here in the bull, my favourite place. 
I do so love Ambridge. It's really my special, special home. Oh no, not you. We give up. I'll get my coat. Jolene, we're off. Jolene, we've been hazeled. No! <laughs> Hello, Hazel. Funny seeing you behind the bar. Where's Kenton and Jolene? They don't work here anymore, Alan. I've taken over. I really like running pubs. What? You just sacked them? Well, they had no real right to be here. Well, that's not a very Christian thing to do, Hazel. Funny you should say that, Alan. I've always thought Ambridge has such a lovely church. I really do like churches. Tomorrow on The Archers, Hazel visits David, Linda, Justin, Lillian, Brian, Eddie, Harrison, Neil, Jim and Shula. <laughs> <laughs>